Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to submit your song to the Spotify curators. What this does is get your song in front of the Spotify staff so that you can be considered for playlists and algorithmic opportunities like Release Radar. You absolutely should do this, and I'm gonna teach you in just a few minutes, so follow along. Before I dive in, there's a few prerequisites that you need to take care of before you're actually able to do this. So to qualify, you must have your Spotify for artist profile claimed. Spotify for artists is the portal that I'm in right now and this is auto generated after you distribute your first song with a distributor like DistroKid, CD Baby, or TuneCore. There are many many distributors but once you use a distributor and you get your first song sent to Spotify this portal is auto generated and needs to be claimed. I'm not going to go through the claiming process right now because that's not the point of this video but I just want to make sure you know you actually can't go through this process for your very first song. Your first song generates the portal and then on your second song and all the songs following you will then have portal access so that you can submit to the Spotify curators. That's just how it is right now but there's a few other things that you need to do right in order to qualify. Second being you must distribute your song with at least four weeks of lead time from your distribution date to the release date. So that means if you are in your distributor, if you're inside distribution, kid and you distribute just as fast as possible or you set your release date within a couple days or a couple weeks this might actually be too short of a period of time for your Spotify for artists portal to get ready for submission there's a place in the portal that I'll show you momentarily where you can access this submission feature but if you don't have enough lead time before your release date then it's just not going to generate properly the third thing that I need you to know is that there's actually a window of time that you need to do this and the opportunity to submit submit actually expires around a week before your release date. So kind of combining the last two bullet points, you need to distribute your song about four weeks out into the future and you need to perform this submission process that I'm about to show you as soon as you can. Now the way that you know that it's time to start this submission process is that a few days after you submit your song through your distributor, you're going to get an email from Spotify that looks exactly like this. It'll say your music is scheduled for release, get ready for your release and I'll have a preview with your album art and the song name and your artist name. Once you get this email, you'll see that the second bullet point says pitch a song to our editors for playlist consideration. So this is your signal that it's time to actually go into your Spotify for artists portal and go through this process. To access your portal, all you have to do is type artists.spotify.com and you'll end up on this screen. This was the screen that I had in the background the whole time. And I am going to click over to music where I'm going to see my existing songs and then I'm going to click over to the upcoming tab and that's where I'll see my new release in the queue and I'll have some options here. I'm able to get heard by our editors and I can pitch a song by clicking this button here and I can also upload my Spotify canvas in advance by clicking this manage button. But real quick, if you don't do these three things, you won't see your new release in the upcoming tab because it takes a few days for it to generate properly. So to get started, I'm going to click the pitch a song button. Then it moves me along into a five step form where I choose which song I would like to pitch. Since I'm just releasing a single, the single is the only track here. But if you release an album, you'll have to select one track off of that album. My song already has a checkbox by it, so I'm going to click next. Step two is where I set the location and it says confirm where the artist is from. Editors sometimes look for music made by people from specific parts of the world. So my hometown is actually San Diego, but this is not where I'm currently based. I'm currently based in Nashville, so I'm going to check that box off and type in Nashville in the second box. Obviously, by going through this process, you are sharing your location with Spotify, but that should be okay. Next, in step three, I'm gonna add my song details. First, I can choose up to three genres to describe this song. This song is definitely gonna be in the pop territory and it's mixed with some dance and EDM elements. So I'm gonna try to find the categories that Spotify provides and see where my song fits in best. All right, I chose my three genres for this song. Dance pop because of the electronic drums and synths, pop singer-songwriter because a lot of my other releases are in that singer-songwriter vein, and then acoustic pop because even though it's mixed with EDM elements, there's also heavy acoustic guitar presence in the track. 
By the way, if you want to listen to the song and see how I came to these genre conclusions, I'll drop the link in the description below once it's released. So I'm going to scroll down to the next section where I choose up to two music cultures. This won't apply for every song, but as you can see, there are a few very interesting choices. But for this track, I'm going to click none of these. The next is choosing up to two moods. And for this song, I think it's pretty energetic. I wouldn't say it's sad, even though the lyrics are sad, but it's definitely not happy either. I think I think what I'm going to do is probably, hmm, chill and energetic seem pretty opposite. Even though the lyrics are sad, I think I'm going to do energetic and happy because that's how it sonically sounds. Scrolling down a bit more, I'm going to choose up to two song styles. And once again, not all songs are going to fit into these categories. I'm pretty sure that I'm not comfortable just choosing acoustic because even though there is acoustic guitar in the song, this is not an acoustic stripped down version of the song. And it's definitely not just a beat either. I don't think it fits into any of these song styles actually, so I'm going to click none of these. And this is where I get to select all of the individual elements that make up the orchestration of the song, such as acoustic guitar, there's definitely bass guitar, there's electric guitar, what else? There's samples for sure, synthesizer for sure, am I missing anything? Oh, drum kit, of course. All right, scrolling down some more, couple of questions. Is this a cover? No, this is an original song. Next, is it a remix? Even though it might sonically sound similar to a remix with the drums and the synths and the EDM elements, when I distributed this song, I did not specify this as a remix. It's just a normal release. So here I'm going to select, no, this is not a remix. How is it recorded? This is a studio version. This is not a live recording. For example, this is not a recording done at a concert or even a studio live session or anything like that. And then lastly, is this an instrumental? No, it is not. Now scrolling down, what languages are the lyrics in? The only language for this song is English. And that's the only tag I will add here. All right, step three, adding all the details is now finished. I'm gonna click next. Step four is where I add a description. And this is where I tell the Spotify curators if there's anything interesting about the song during the process of creating, writing, or recording it, as well as any plans I have to promote it. And I recommend taking a few minutes to really put something good here because this is the only free response element to this pitch. So really put your best foot forward. And if there's anything special about this song or the story about this release, you definitely wanna take the time to write it out. All right, here's something that I just threw together. It's not necessarily necessarily Hemingway, but it does perform a couple of tasks. First, I want to make it very easy to skim. That's why I broke it up into three very small paragraphs. In fact, each sentence is a paragraph. Next, each sentence has one goal. The first one is to make your eyes dart over to Chainsmokers and Marshmallow, which is going to immediately tie this release to some big artist names and hopefully tip the scales in my favor. Next, I'm trying to get them to imagine what the song will sound like just by reading a sentence. So I put in some descriptors like modern, fresh, and feel good. I put in tragic because of the lyrics. I put in breakup song, and I thought this was pretty clever, make you dance with tears in your eyes. That pretty much summarizes the experience of the song, and hopefully this adds to all of the selections that I made in the prior steps. Last, I wanted to speak to what the song is about. So I wrote, broken is about promises that are made in a relationship that are inevitably destined to fail. The lyrics are smooth, crafty, and feature Bruce Lee because there's a line in the song about Bruce Lee. And so I thought that would catch their eye. Maybe it won't, but remember, this is about being different. This is about making your song feel special. And honestly, anything you can do to stand out from the crowd is going to work perfectly here because there are about 60,000 songs uploaded to Spotify every single day. These are brand new songs. So if your application is one of the lucky ones that actually gets read, you're definitely going to want to do everything you can to stand out as much as possible. After I'm happy with my description, I'm going to click next and I'm going to make sure everything looks good. I can update this pitch up until the release day, but changes made within a week of the release won't be reflected on release radar. And so that goes back to that checklist I was telling you about in the beginning. About a week before your release date, this submission kind of gets locked into place and you'll be too late to make any changes for release radar. So I'm just going to 
skim through this really quick. This is for my release, Broken. Artist info, hometown San Diego, currently based in Nashville. Genres look good. Music cultures, I selected none. Energetic, happy. Song styles, I selected none once again. Here are all the instruments. It's not a cover, not a remix. This is a studio recording. This is not an instrumental, so I selected no. This is in English, and here is the description. And here it is, they're really trying to remind you. Don't forget, followers get this song on their release radar playlist when you pitch at least a week before release. I definitely wanna get this pitched in time. Today it's October 10th and my release date is October 20th. So I'm a little bit down to the wire, but still within the window. And so I'm gonna hit pitch and finalize this process. All right, I'm all done. I can pitch another unreleased song after this one goes live on Spotify. If you need help pitching your music to more playlists, go ahead and click the video up here where I'll cover the different types of playlists on Spotify, including ones that you actually wanna avoid because they contain fake accounts and bots that'll actually ruin your algorithm. So definitely you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. I'll have it linked here and in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful and best of luck with your music.